Day 2 of our cruise, Sunday, August 7, 2016. Forecasted temperature is 63 degrees. Tonight's dinner attire in the Reflections dining room is formal. At 9 and 10.45 p.m. in the Tropical Theater, there is the Comedy, Juggling, and Furniture Balancing Act of Steve Rawlings. At 9 a.m., there is an Adults Table Tennis Tournament next to the Windjammer Cafe on Deck 11. At 1 p.m., there is Pub Landlord's Beer Tasting in the Crown and Castle Pub on Deck 6. At 3 p.m., there is International Wine Tasting in the Reflections Dining Room on Deck 4. At 3.30 p.m., there is a cha-cha dance class with the Royal Caribbean Dancers in the Centrum on Deck 4. There is ballroom dancing in the Safari Club on Deck 6 starting at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. and 10 p.m., the movie My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2 is playing in the cinema on Deck 6 as well as other activities and entertainment at various locations on board the ship throughout the day and evening. There are no ports of call today, which gives us a chance to sleep in, relax, and get comfortable. It was nice not having to pack up and move to a new location. A cruise ship is like a floating hotel, allowing you to take your hotel room with you everywhere you go. We left Copenhagen last night and sailed along the coast between Denmark and Sweden. Today we cruise along the southern coast of Norway, heading for our first port tomorrow in Stavanger. Our course has us far out to sea. I am sure on a clear day we would be able to see the shore. Most of this day has been cloudy with some fog, so there is just a faint outline of the mountains off in the distance. Still, this is my first ever sighting of the Norwegian coast, my first time to see the home of my ancestors. For dinner, we have reservations at 6 p.m. each evening in the Reflections dining room. If you are traveling with a large group, you can usually get reservations for everyone at the same table. When it is just the two of us, we are seated with others because there are no tables for two. This is actually a very nice arrangement and a tradition for cruise ships. You get to meet new people and learn about their travel experiences. For this trip, we are seated with a family of four from Pittsburgh. Andy, Aaron, their daughter McKenna, age 13, and their son Harrison, age 9. We all sit at the same table for each day of our cruise. It has been very interesting hearing about their travels, and we are very glad to have such nice people to dine with each evening.